the weirdest thing just happened. I got challenged to a pendulum mirror match. The pen god got challenged to a pendulum mirror match by Farfa? Are you really? Farfa challenges me to a pendulum mirror match. Pen god gets challenged by foot fetish god to a mirror match of the pendulum variety. Okay, Farfa, if you would like your funeral to be shown live on YouTube, no problem. Pendulum mirror match coming right up. Farfa vs. Triff. Get ready for a genocide of epic proportions. Before we get into it, I want to give a big shout out to my every single one of you, man. We just hit 22,000 subscribers, and we're just kind of explain how much I love every single one of you. Shout out to all of you, and honestly, shout out to my team, Game Nation. Without them, I would not be where I am today. Thank you to all of you. Later on in the week, I'll be releasing the I Am Endemian Cloth Giveaway, Cloth Mat Giveaway winner for the winner of the giveaway, because that's just what it is. I'll be releasing it later on in the week, but for now, hit the subscribe button, smash the thumbs up button, and check out the beautiful I'm Endemian Cloth playmat in the description below on the PayPal. Get yours before they sell out. Let's go straight into the video. Who's ready for a good old fashioned clap? Let's go, baby. Pendulum versus Pendulum. But we're both playing a super cool version of Pendulums. I am playing my signature Striker Pendulum Orchest. You guys already know how much I love this deck. This deck's remarkable. As you're going to witness, it just OTKs through anything, regardless of the hand, regardless of the opponent's hand, etc. You look at what, what our opponent is facing, playing here. Ignite Zephra Orchest. <laughs> you notice this hand kind of bricky, right? Well, that happens when you play Cannon Traps and World 1, and cards that can't be pen summoned. We're going to witness which version's better, which, needless to say, mine. This is still two negates easily. He's going to get a full Orcus combo, etc. But it is unfortunate that this one is super, like, it looks like he can't do anything, right? It looks like he's going to pass. But it is a super cool part of his deck. I'm going to hand it to Far for, for having the brains to even think of this. Uh, I'm pretty sure he didn't even make it. But anyways, his two Ignite is going to get Quantum Layer, which is going to special summon. And then he's going to get a Warrior from Zephyr Providence and do, go a Soul Day. And his soul day is going to get a scale for next turn. And he's going to send Armageddon and get a full Orcus combo. So it is cool, but it definitely bricked. It could do a lot worse. I'll show you guys at the end of the video. I'll tell you guys right now, I'm warning you guys ahead of time. This is going to be a quick video. I, like, Needless to say, you already know what's going to happen at the end. But at the end of the video, I'm going to showcase to you guys my updated deck list. Uh, my updated Strike Orcus deck list as well. I will not be showing Fireflies, but if this video does hit 500 likes, I'm going to create my own version that doesn't brick of Ignite Orcist, which is broken, honestly, because Ignites are, if you draw any version, like, there's 30 Ignites you can play, if you play 40 cards, 30 Ignites, like, and then rest randoms, like, you just win, if you draw, if you draw four Ignites, you just win, it's actually broken, <clears throat> but he's playing a little more bricky version of it, as you're gonna see as the video progresses, he's gonna have a Crescendo and a Divine Strike, I don't know if he has a Divine Strike, I only know he has a Crescendo, now, Ah, uh, you see my hand. My deck just does not brick. We even dead drew the knowledge, which is fine. Uh, this deck's just broken. Like, he's forced to crescendo the Servant, and he's gonna go engage Hornet. He's, all these cards he must negate. Now, he is gonna negate the engage. He should have negated the engage originally, because he didn't want me to draw, that's why he did it. But he should have done it originally, because I have a Kagari. It doesn't matter. I just normal summon an Arpour and do full Orcus combo, and this is why I do play Orcus cards. Because now, you just win like that. If he negated the Hornet, I have Chronograph to go Time Gazer. That's why Pendulum are so good with Orcus. Is that the Pendulum, they're all extenders. So, worst case... <coughs> worst case scenario, full Orcus combo. Now, the Pendulum uh, variant of the deck made him w waste his Divine Strike as Crescendo. And now, the Orcus part of the deck... I didn't even Pendulum summon. If this hand was this hand was bad, to be honest, I still killed him. Uh, if we had one low scale, we Pendulum summon, made Electrum, and one even, even harder... But anyways, we're just going to make Time Gazer. We're going to make Boral Sword here. Very simple. Uh, Nightmare Skeleton, Dengirsu. And it's going to be an uh, easy game. So that's OTK, game one. Game two now, you look at Farfus hand. And for some odd, strange reason, he decided to play Vanity's Fiend. Do I understand why? No. Uh, what he ends up doing here uh, is... Like, I just see his version of Bricks. I don't play this bricky-ass version. I play a much cleaner version that's just better. Uh, he's going to go... What I would have done if I was him was I would have searched for... 
I would have straight up, yeah, I would have honestly gone for the Orcus combo. Well, he's, he pedals him in the hard part, tributes some Vanity Sphere, and hopes it's enough. No problem. Uh, engage F, win. Activate engage, win ho anchor that, uh, and just win the duel. So he scoops right away after that. Uh, <laughs> obviously, you already know how the match is going to turn out before the match even started. But we are going to showcase the, his dex full potential here in a combo. So it's a cool combo we got for you guys to witness what Ignites actually do. So if he draws a hand of all Ignites, which is going to happen more so if he played Rabbits, if he played better normal summons, if he played not 60 cards, if he got rid of all the shit Zephyr cards, well, they're good oh, sometimes, but not for this. And if you guys are going to see what it does normally. So you get uh, two of them, get red layer. You normal summon, make a soul day. And look at that. Like, you get. I don't want to play Zephyros either. It's just overkill at that point. Pendulum summon. He does not make Electrum. I would have made Electrum for sure and got more pluses, more pluses, more pluses. B is a cool combo, getting a great Shogun Shien. I wouldn't even play that either. There's more bricks you don't really need to play. But his combo is going to end on Dweller, Shogun Shien with Sayuja summons. And he's going to have Crescendo, and he could have had Dengirsu, but he didn't uh, play that correctly. He could have added Dengirsu if he did it properly. I would have linked the Sayuja and the Skeleton that he had on field, or the Nightmare he had on field, into a Galatea. And he would have Galatea, Dengirsu, Beatrice, Shogun, Shia, and Dweller, which would have been a better board. But consider this with a Dengirsu, that's what the deck does. It's actually super cool, but it's no match for a Pentum Striker or his deck. So now, what I'm going to show you guys now is Shadow Farfo for being a good sport for... Uh, attending his own funeral. That doesn't really happen very often now that I think about it. It's pretty tough. You gotta be a ghost or something. Anyways, for the rest of the video, we're gonna show you guys my updated deck list. So, stay tuned for that. This is the deck profile. We're gonna go through it super fast. I already showcased a similar one. I put the orcas at the very bottom to make it more organized for you guys to see them. But we're gonna explain the orcas first, even when they're last. But, one Rona, one Armageddon Knight. I didn't play it before, but you play it because you pendle on someone it's way easier. Uh, Scrap is an option, but then you can't play Abductor. I know Scarab Wyvern is broken, but Abductor is too good not to play it, to be honest. So you play one Arma, one Rota to be able to pen summon or normal, at the end of, like, Pendulum the Gate, the normal Arma get in full combo. Uh, one Harp, one Nightmare, one Scout, one Crescendo. That's a great ratio. You don't need a return. You don't need a Babble. Crescendo, it's always Crescendo plus Dengirsu on the field plus the Pendulum the Gates, right? So it just works out great. You don't need to play more. You always see it because you play Beatrice. So to send the harp horror so you'll always see the orcas combo but you won't see it too much and drawing them is fantastic they don't brick all five of these are great to draw a lot of you guys say oh my god i'll brick with orcas no no no. you'll brick without orcas like you need to open one well you don't need to go beatrice but opening one is just so broken the only one that bricks is crescendo but it's fine have one brick versus all you guys that play zephyr cards that like oh, they're all bricks like um, i have one drawing divine strike etc anyways uh we have three servant three abductor uh, needless to say, plays in every pendulum deck or else you're fried. Three chronograph, two razor. I would have loved to put in a third one, but there's just no space. We're making a playing a pendulum orchid striker deck at 40 cards. Like it's incredibly consistent. It's unbelievable. One mighty master, one jackal. You don't need to play more because there's no desires. And you would like to play maybe a second in mighty master or a second jackal, but you really don't need to. The orchids just give you too much push, and you'd rather open curtain razor or chronographs because if you open these extenders, you just sub like they work so good with the deck. Chronograph Curtain Razor give you uh, spells and uh, for a Servant and Abductor. It gives you a card for Electrum. It gives you cards for Allure. It gives you an extender to make Orcus combo with. Like, it's just the, the utility for it is so good in this deck. Uh, one Time Gazer, okay. Two Blue Boy, two Secrets, one Knowledge. Uh, we'll always play this ratio. No more, no less. If I played 60, I'll play more. 40, you must play this. I explained it in my past video. Three Allure, three Into the Void, one Upstart, Standard for Pendulum. If you don't play Curtain Razor and Chronograph, you can't play Allure. You gotta play them. Uh, triple Engage. One Hornet, one Widow. Widow comes up a lot. Uh, engage package comes up a lot for going second. There must negates for the opponent. And going first, Widow is fine to draw. Use IP or board. You can still use it. Three Mastery and then the Orcus Engine I talked about. Uh, the deck's amazing. It really is. It's just broken. Not just against Farfa, against anyone. The deck's remarkable. Uh, three Evenly, three System Down, three Reboot, three Dark Ruler. In my last video, I showcased my reasoning behind playing six auto win cards in this format. And these 12 are six against the whole meta. One burner, one eccentric, one aether. Sometimes you feel like taking all. Like sometimes you go straight up take out. The beauty of Pen Orcus is this: your opponent is going to be siding in Lancia, shit like that, DD Crows, whatever stuff to actually hit the Orcus engine. They're going to like system downs. People, a lot of people will side system downs. Uh, random stuff they already have in their side deck because not enough people have some good side deck for Pendulum. 
So start siding shit like Lancia. And that's why game two, a lot of the times, I will side out all six cards of the Orcus engine to put in six auto wins. Like three evenly, uh, uh, three reboot for back row. Like I'll put in those six for back row. If I'm facing Orcus, I'll put in three evenly, three system down. Right? Easy. If I don't feel, if I think the deck I'm facing sucks, let's say I'm facing some random rogue deck, I will take out all six Orcus cards and put in these six. If I'm facing Thunder, I'll take out all the draw search cards, put in uh, three Dark Ruler, three of these. And Aether by itself is just perfect. And it works out perfect. And having these three afterburner to switch out with Shark Kind, or sorry, with Widow if you want to. Aether kills uh, Thunder and a lot of other stuff. Eccentric, searchable with Abductor to pop uh, problems. It's amazing. Extra deck. Wakagari, I would love to play Kaina as another uh, link that goes downwards for Strikers. You go engage Hornet, then make Electrum underneath. But if you play perfectly, you don't need to use it. You just go Electrum first, and then you engage after. <coughs> and then link away for Tenyi, and then uh, Hornet, and then etc. So you go, you're good without it. It's nice, but you don't need it. Uh, we don't play Crowley because it's actually super tight. And because you're in such a draw deck, you always draw the blue boys anyways. It's great to see, to have Crowley, but if, if there's no space. Crowley is the 16th card I would play. IP, 10 E link, uh, comes up a lot. Uh, link 3, especially because you're playing a lot of Orcus stuff. I know it's not dark, I'm saying before the combo. Uh, so Yusha comes up a lot. Appaloosa, so Yusha like, saves all hands, it's broken. Appaloosa, Nightmare, Phoenix, Nightmare, Unicorn, Boral Sword, 2 Galte, 1 Long Girsu. Uh, they all come up, and 1 Ding Girsu. Uh, the 17th card would be a 2nd Ding Girsu. It does come up. Beatrice and Dweller, you do play level 4s with Curtain Rays and Abductor, make Orcus the buy. That's the deck, guys, and that's a free win versus Farfa. Hope you liked the video. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Check out my link in the description below in the PayPal. 45 USD for one player, 55 USD for two player. Get yours for the match sell out. Anyways, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.